Fred is a documentary all about Freddie Foreman, a, a man who is now 85, living in a lone, uh, retired, in a small house, and just talking about his life and how he got from where he was born to the heights that he got to, to where he is now. Now, Freddie Foreman was a brutal gangland person of the 60s who ran with the craze. He was his own man as well and he had a tough upbringing as he discusses in this documentary. But now, all these years later, it's his view of his life. How the criminal world of the London Underground really formed the person he is, how it shaped his life, how it mismanaged his life and the sort of tinge of regret that is in his voice over things that have happened throughout it. Starts off by telling us his upbringing, his family life, what times were like back then, how they, they, they had to do to make ends meet and how he was always uh, a fan of London, how he grew up there, how it was his town and how he had a strong sense of belonging there. And we get through his life, how he met his wife, how, how he started businesses, how he became a criminal of sorts and started to do things that were out of the norm. You know, he, he kept it from his wife to his wife. He just was a guy with a job. He didn't explain what that job was. He would just leave at crazy hours, do his work and make sure that there was food on the table and that everybody was looked after. And you really get a, a nice insight into this man as he starts to talk about his criminal life and how it really affected his marriage, his relationships with his children and how it had this long-lasting effect on him. But he wasn't always just a criminal figure. There is large periods of his time where he was a successful businessman and these are the kind of aspects that you never really hear about these people. He went legitimate and this is probably some of the most fascinating stuff and it's a, more about the, the sort of draw of that criminal lifestyle that brought him back and he had no need to go after that. He had successful businesses, he had a successful life, he had made something of himself and was doing really well, but it was the lifestyle, it was being drawn back in with these people that kind of made him turn back to that criminality that ultimately had a devastating effect on his relationships and his life. Fred isn't as candid as you hope he would be, but then there is that, a reason for that. There is a looming court case that could be brought down if he says the wrong thing. So what we have is a man who's trying to open up after spending all the years of holding back information that shouldn't be out in public. And that as much as the director tries to kind of coax it out of him, inserting himself into the documentary by forcing questions and asking and trying to pinpoint answers, he never fully opens up and he always feels as if he's guarded at some point, not wanting to give a full explanation or to put himself in the firing line of a court case. Nonetheless, even though we're talking about the milestones of this character, he has had a interesting life and it is fascinating to hear it, but it's not always his story. We do get an outside perspective of certain people who may be attributed with Fred or could just be an impartial viewer who has had insight into his life where it would be writing books or just studying this kind of material. If you're interested in the London Underground criminal empires that was there in the 60s, uh, things like the craze that this movie really does touch upon as well. They talk long about how the craze had this effect on London, how they started doing things and breaking the mould of, of the rules that the criminals had back then because they did have some strong rules. They would always look out for their own, they would always take care of the neighbourhood and make sure everything was okay and they had zero tolerance for anybody that stepped out of line. And there's something kind of fascinating about those bending of morals to, to create these rules to facilitate the way that they lived is, is, is interesting but not fully explored as I would have hoped. Fred is out on the 28th of May on digital download. You can also get it in DVD on the 4th of June. I think it's an interesting pickup. If you have any kind of interest in this kind of topic whatsoever, you're going to find this extremely fascinating and I would love to know your thoughts on the movie. Let me know in the comment box below and I'll see you next time on Man vs Film.